All right, in this video, we're going to be setting up a WoW Classic character in Unity using the 3D character creator texture system. So once you've imported the package into your project, you'll have the character texture builder folder right here. And then you're ready to get started. I have imported a human character and he is naked. So we've gone ahead and gave him a uh, safety cube here. We don't want to get YouTube upset. So now that uh, we have a safety cube in place, go ahead and expand. Well, your character probably won't look exactly like this. I've broken him down into sub meshes. But what you want to do is just make sure you select all of the geo sets or sub meshes that you have and make sure that the character classic material is applied. Uh, but that's actually a specific material that's not in the demo. Uh, you want to go to the demo and find that demo character material. But any, any material will work. It's just whatever material you'll, you want to render on your character. What we do need to make sure is that the character classic material is assigned on the blit manager. You gotta fix the name on that one and sign the whatever material your character is using it needs to be assigned on the final material field. Now the base texture for the character is important. You can see that we already have that set and I'm just using one which is the human male skin 0000. Now we're ready to get started and the blit areas are zero. I'm going to say open blit area editor and there are some areas here that need to be defined. If you go to your documentation folder there's actually a file here called layout full war underscore character skin layout full and you can take a look at that here in Photoshop. Now these are the areas, the blit areas that we need to create. So most of them are 120, uh, are 256 wide and 128 high. Uh, there are some areas that are 256 wide and 64. So what we can do here is name for one, name these exactly the same um, in our blit area editor window, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Just give us a little bit more working room and let's create a 256 by 128 and we can do a snap two pixels of 64 because the smallest that's our smallest image size to so create new area and I'm going to go ahead and match the tint that I'm using uh, from the PSD image as you can see here and so we're going to put the red over here and this area is called the arm upper now this is tied directly to the table called character component texture sections and ID one is arm upper arm upper is also section type zero so there may be a couple ways that you end up referencing these and for a classic character it is zero through ten and for an HD character it is number eleven through twenty eight but right now we're setting up a classic character which is going to use section type 0 through 10. This is the index of our array called current areas. And uh, that is over here on the blip manager that's the blip areas. So this is an array that's going to be 10 in length. And index 0 would line up with the section type index zero or we could do a plus one to make it match this ID field over here. So I'm gonna keep this at zero because we'll configure that over here and right now I'm not going to put a zero or a one in front of this because I know I'll be able to reference this arm upper field with a zero as its index in the array. Okay, now I need to sign a blip material. So if you look in the character texture builder demo materials, you'll see a blip materials demo folder. And you can just duplicate these and uh, name them to match e each section of your uh, texture. And I've already done that. There may be a folder already included that has these uh, 
named correctly with arm, upper, arm, lower. So take these, uh, each one of these materials and we're going to assign it to the blip material. So this is the arm upper and I've matched that to the arm upper area. If you look at the arm upper texture or the uh, material here, you will see that it has two fields. And the reason why is under arm upper, it has two possible textures, arm upper shirt and arm upper chest. So we just need to go through each material and make sure that the number here matches the number of possible textures for that slot. Now these should already be set up in this project. So we have four for arm lower and the hand would have one. So make sure you get all those set up correctly with the right number of maximum textures for that area. Once that's done, we have the blip material set up, the color tint set up, and we have a name. So we're ready to create another one. We certainly have more areas that are uh, 256 by 128. And I am gonna, I should just alt tab over to this one. And it has uh, 256 by 128 here, as well as another one right there. So this one is called the torso upper. And I want to make sure I save these in the array in the right order. So this one is uh, number one, it should be arm lower. And in, I have it just kind of a pink color, and this this color is not important. And we're going to assign the arm lower. And that one sh has four maximum textures on it. And next we have a, a 256 by 64. Create new area. That is for the hands. Make sure we get the naming correct, hand or hands. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rest of these real quick, following the same format and making sure I do them in the right order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing, and then there's a nine and a 10. So if we look at the database, we can see that it goes zero, one, three, four, seven, eight is missing, nine and 10. So we probably won't reference by the section type ID it makes more sense to use this ID, which doesn't skip numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, however, we still will be following uh, this order to the hands and then going down here and then switching back to finish up with the head. All right, so everything's done being configured here in the Blit Area Editor window. And I have the Blit Manager selected. We could see that the Blit Areas is a size of zero. But if we say Save to Blit Manager, it's going to copy all of the information that we have configured here over to the Blit Manager. So now I'm going to click it again just to make sure. Save to Blit Manager. And we can close the Blit Area Editor window. Before I do anything, I'm going to copy this component just in case it gets lost. Because right now this is beta and it's a little bit buggy. So I'm going to deselect it and reselect the blit area or the blit manager and it looked and everything's fine so we're ready to go now everything's configured and all we need to do is make sure that each material uh, has a texture assigned to it the hand still needs one and you could see the editor's already drawn that character so we can go ahead and delete the cube and we're done it's um that character is being rendered exactly like you would see him in WoW. The everything's set up correctly and it's performing as fast as a regular texture 2D is. At just one time when it runs the on enable function, it will render that texture real quick and after that it's just a uh, texture and memory like any other texture 2D is. So this is a character set up using the 3D Character Creator Texture System. And uh, of course we are using copyrighted material from Blizzard, but this is for the purposes of fan-made machinima and things of that nature. 
Thanks for watching and thanks for the support. See you guys in the next video.